hit it. Today we're talking about something that's really important, and, but it really is, and that is water. Don't drink tap water. Why? Why well, I tell you? Why do they put chlorine to tap water? Because they want chlorine kills bacteria. It's a disinfectant. It's there to kill bacteria. So if you drink water from the tap straight away, it's going to be killing the bacteria in your gut. You don't need to be a scientist. You don't need to make a study to know that. But I'll tell you one thing. I'm so sen the thing is, I'm so sensitive to my Crohn's is I always feel it. Like before, I was fasting for 42 days with water just from the tap. And I finished my fast and I was so confused. Like, because I remember afterwards, like, stuff wasn't the best for me, you know? And I was confused. I thought fasting was it. Fasting is really good. Just, you've got to drink good water, which is not killing the bacteria, which is very related to why Crohn's exists. You know, it's very part of the process in why Crohn's is so bad in a lot of people, because the bacteria is out of whack. With antibiotics, chlorinated water, etc. No fermented foods, what do you expect? So, I mean, why do I say this? I went out last, I went out a couple of nights ago, I've done this a few times already. Sometimes you just go to the bar and you ask for tap water, because sometimes it's the only thing that's available. Sometimes they just want to be selling alcohol, they don't want to sell water. By the way, I don't drink alcohol, by the way, for over five years and every week, and going out is fantastic. But what I want to say is, you know, sometimes you drink tap water, because that's what you do in night out, because it's cheaper, if you think it's water, it's not alcohol, I know that it's not really got value. But it does, if it's going to cause problems for you. But what I do is I boil my own water. I got a bit of it, it's probably like three, four litres. I take the water from the tap and I boil it until it bubbles and I let it cool down. And then you see all the chlorine like, settle to the bottom. And that's the chlorine taken out of the water. Now it's safe to drink. It's really, really, really important. I don't like to drink. When I eat like food, I don't, if I eat like something like a proper hearty meal, I don't want to, I don't want to drink it down with orange juice because it doesn't help digestion. Like sometimes when too many things are going on, it just bloats you. So, so, I usually just drink water, so that's why it's so important. Because if you're part of a healthy lifestyle, if you think I'm trying to do a healthy lifestyle, I'm drinking water really important. Let's get it in. So, just wanted to say, I've gone out a few times, and then like the next day, I have really bad pain. I'm like, wow, I thought I was on the roll, like for a few weeks, for a few months. What? Oh, the, the squeezing comes back. I hate that part. But now, today, yesterday, it's been fine. After having like my fermented yogurt, like my kefir. glass as much as possible because a lot of you don't need to re-up on it but it's just plastic it's just obviously leeches into water and it's not good cancer rates have skyrocketed up in the last few decades because we're just exposed to a lot more carcin carcinogens cancer causing chemicals <sighs> also Cold water, people love cold <coughs> water in westernized countries. People live by cold water. And sure, you know, cold drink's nice, like when you're relaxing or something, but not all day, every day, throughout the day, you know. It doesn't help for digestion, it slows the gut down. It doesn't help it, because the gut has to put more energy into the water to warm it up. And that kind of, that kind of takes energy from digestion, you know, it stresses the, this, it makes, it takes, stresses the digestive system even more, you know? So I put, I got cooled down the water, which I previously boiled, like I said, but put a little bit of boiling water always. So it's just always slightly warm, like 30 degrees, and that just gets everything going. And you know what, I say one more thing, water's really good. The amount of times I've been dehydrated, I drink like a litre, litre and a half water, and then my bowels suddenly start moving, my bowels, it just cleans everything and takes it out, you know. And 
don't need to go like, but it's just this problem is it's part of your lifestyle. You've got to be smart every day, not like one off, not like just buy a tablet and you'll be cured. You've got to do it every day, forever. And be like, this is how I live. These are my rules. I don't budge on. You know, some, some things I'll budge on, but not this. And, you know, in the grand scheme of things, what's like two litres of water? That's one alcoholic drink in like London in the UK. That's like two liters of water, which saves you having pain. What would you pay to not have pain and to be healthy? Because that's kind of the question, you know. And a fiver just for two liters of water. Stay hydrated. Stay pumpy. Stay pain free, Crohn's free, chronic illness free. That's what it's about. But we gotta be smart. Though. Chlorinated water. We'd be like, no, I don't. Is that chlorinated water? I don't want it. No. Number two, deep sleep. Number one, 